The future of animation and interactive design is here. Little did they predict what was going to happen in 2020, but Lottie did manage to overtake 2020 in website design as a huge sensation. On many levels you can use it, but it's also possible to use it on website, and that is what the new Lottie element in 2020 for Brizzy allows you to do. The Lottie element in Brizzy is only a pro feature for both the Brizzy Cloud platform as well as the Brizzy WordPress plugin. Jump over into Brizzy, and here I've got a document set up. Now, where you're going to use it is anywhere you would use a graphic. Lottie is an animated graphic. It's almost like a GIF. Over here, I've got these icons, and maybe I want to replace them with something that moves. So that is where I will like to bring it in. Or you can use it as a normal graphic anywhere on your page. To access the Lottie element, go here to the top where you normally find your add elements. Click on that. And... From this big list of elements, you will find Lottie here at the bottom. Maybe late to the show, but it's still there. Click drag, and then we drop it here. And it's going to bring in Lottie with an animation. Ah, big ugly virus, you bad boy. Click on it, and that, of course, will give you the options, toolbar, everything you can do with Lottie. If you've never worked with Lottie, you should immediately understand what Lottie is. It's a graphic that is animated, and in this case, for example, it's set to loop, so it keeps looping. Now, your first thought is, oh, wow, well, wonderful. I'm not a graphic designer or an artist like this, so what does this benefit me? And that is where the site that I just showed you comes in, because this is where you're going to get your Lottie designs, lottiefiles.com. And when you get here, you will have to log in, but that's very easy. Sign up is free. You can log in with your Google account or your Facebook account. And then from here, you simply go to animations. And I'm just going to click on animations to take us into the page for that. It's going to show us featured animations from our community. And you can see up here a number of categories. And this is where you are going to get the animations. You don't need to make it yourself. You're going to get it from here. And the good news is, that many, many of these are free. You just download them. There are also premium ones that you can pay for, and I'm pretty sure you can reach out to some of these designers and ask them to make one for you that will fit your website. Let's see what we've got here on this page. So this is modern technology. And let's see if we can search for one. So up here, search Lottie Animations. Let's type in there technology. Where's my O? Oh, tech. Okay, I think it's the search. So let's look there. Technology. And what does Lottie provide for us with technology? Ooh, 5G. And there you go. Like you see, these guys that appear like this, they are free. And if there are paid ones, that will appear there as well. Now your challenge, and this is probably the biggest challenge you're going to have, there's a paid one. Your biggest challenge is going to be to make sure that if you want to do something like this with three icons, that you can also find your Lottie animations that are similar. I wonder these three, maybe we can try and see if we can bring them in for these three. Let's do that. Let's grab this one here for modern technology. Click on it, and then you're going to get this splash screen, Abdul Latif, with everything regarding Lottie that you can do here. And I'm just going to show you how you bring it into Brizzy. In fact, there are three ways that you can bring this into your website, depending on what your website allows you to do. You have a JSON, you have a link, you have another file, a zip file. But in this case, we are going to grab the Lottie animation URL. If you don't see the Lottie animation URL appear here, it means that you haven't logged in. It's one of the conditions for getting the URL you need to log in. Simply click here on this one, which will allow you to copy, and it says copy it. Then go back to Brizzy, click on your Lottie animation or your Lottie element, and then you will see here is the Lottie symbol. Click on that, and here is the Lottie link. Select everything in there. Control command V. And then let's just click outside, 
to give it some time to update and it updates and you've brought in that animation. Now you have normal controls over it. So let's click again on it, see what we've got here. Let's go first here. So there's the Lottie link. And if you don't know the link, then you just again hover over this question mark and it will tell you over there at lottiefiles.com. Under this is autoplay and this is probably something you want to leave on. You also have reverse. So you see now it goes backwards. Hmm, that's interesting as well. And then you have loop. So if you just want it to play once and then stop over here and speed will depend on, well, what you want to achieve that you can increase the speed. Things will go quicker and you can reduce the speed. Slow mo. Let's put it back on one. This is up to you. And that's everything that you can do with the Lottie file. Also, you have control over the size of this. So if you click on it, your handles appear here. Let's see, you can drag it and it will size to a maximum of the container height or width, which in this case will be the height. And then you have padding here. So it will not go beyond that. You can also get that over here under the settings. You will see width in percentage. So currently it's 100% to your container and you can drop it down to pixels as well. Cool though, again, it's a linkable element. Click on the link and you can do the normal stuff like you can bring in the URL, a block for it, pop up all, even a file. And then you have this control here, but because it's already at 100%, you're not going to see any alignment options over here. And that is Lottie. Because it's an animated graphic running on the same concept like SVG, this is scalable. So if I grab this, let's copy it and we drag it somewhere to something very, very big. You see, you still have very good resolution and that leaves a very small footprint for your website size. In fact, it is linked and you can also go back to Lottie files. You will see there's a few things that you can change here. And I believe as Lottie develops over time, they may bring in more features like you will even be able in the future to change the colors of the graphic that you had brought in. Go check out Lottie. This is for the WordPress Pro as well as Brizzy Cloud Pro. And that brings us to the end of another 2020 edition here at Learn Brizzy. I'm JP. Stay safe and see you in the next video.